What is going on guys, Joel here back with another video and today Apple announced the latest version of iOS which is going to be iOS 8. Now iOS 8 is not going to be available to the public until the fall but iOS 8 beta was released today to developers. Now this is the question I get all the time every time a beta is released and that is how do I get access to the beta? Now the beta is only available to developers so the way to get access to it is to have your device's UDID registered to a developer account. Now many of you may not be the developers so you're kind of out of luck because you don't get access to it but there's always a reason why because the betas is for developers. Uh, there's going to be lots of bugs because it's still not finalized so you will have to wait until the fall but it always seems that Apple for some reason uh, allows this to happen. So I'm be showing all of you how to get access to iOS 8 beta 1 without having your device's UDID registered to a developer account. Now this is going to be available for the iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, 5C, 5S, iPod Touch 5th generation, iPad 2, iPad with Retina display, the iPad Air, iPad mini, and the iPad mini with Retina display. Now do notice the iPhone 4 is not going to be compatible with iOS 8 anymore. So if you have an iPhone 4, it's time to update if you want access to iOS 8. Now before we do start, I do advise you guys to go ahead and back up your device on iTunes because the method we'll be doing is gonna be wiping all of your data, that's including your photos, uh, your text messages, everything. Uh, so be sure to back up your device. This is a crucial step, so do not miss this step. Uh, go ahead and back up your device after or during the backup process. Go ahead and download the iOS 8 betas. Now I'm gonna have those betas available on my website so you can go to my website here. I'll leave a link down below and it's gonna be under downloads and then iOS firmware. And then you'll be able to select your device and go ahead and download the IPSW. Now you will need to do a fresh install of iOS 7.1.1 which is gonna be the latest version of iOS 7. So after your device is backed up, go ahead and restore it. Um, so we'll have a fresh install of iOS 7.1.1 because this is another crucial step uh, in order to get access to iOS 7 beta 1 if you don't have a registered UDID. Now I already actually went through that process and restored my device so it's like a brand new fresh device here as you see. Now after you've done a fresh install of iOS 7.1.1 on your device and you also downloaded the IPSW of iOS 8 beta 1, all you got to do if you're on a Mac go ahead and hold down the alt slash option key and then click on check for update. Now if you're on a Windows computer all you got to do is hold down shift and while you're holding down click on check for update. Now be sure you do click on check for update and not on restore iPod or restore iPhone or restore iPad. Be sure to click on check for update or else this will not work for you. Uh, once you do that you'll need to go ahead and find the IPSW of iOS 8 beta and since this is going to be beta 1, we're going to go ahead and select the beta 1 version here and we'll click on open. Now it's going to ask you, iTunes will update your iPod or iPhone or iPad, whichever device you're doing this on. I'm doing this on the iPod Touch 5th generation. Uh, and then go ahead and click on update. Once it does that, it's going to extract the software and then update your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch to iOS 8 beta 1. So, so with the magic of video, we're going to go ahead and fast forward this and get back to when we update. Now once we get done setting it up, you will notice if you swipe over to the right, you will have that health application. So that's basically how you know that you're updated to iOS 8. And also we do have a bug reporter because this is a beta, so there will be bugs, uh, like I said in the beginning. And it also looks like uh, iBooks is pre-installed now on iOS 8. But if you want some more proof, all we got to do is go to settings, go to about, or general then about and then you will see version 8.0 right there so I am on iOS 8.0 uh, now this is gonna be beta 1 now this method that I just showed you will more than likely work on future betas but it is not confirmed so currently it is working on beta 1 because we are on beta 1 at the moment of shooting this video now do this at your own risk uh, I am not at fault if anything goes wrong I just wanted to show you guys uh, if you guys cared for it uh, and want to try out iOS 8 beta 1. Now if you do want to go ahead and restore your photos and text messages and everything like that from your backup that you did before we restore to iOS 7.1.1 uh, all you got to do is hit on restore backup and then select your backup that you'd like and that is about it. 
Now, if you do want to go ahead and downgrade to iOS 7.1.1, all you got to do is simply hold down shift if you're on a Windows computer or alt slash option key if you are on a Mac. And then you have to select restore iPod and then select the latest version of iOS 7, which is currently 7.1.1. And then you'll be able to downgrade if you're not satisfied with iOS 8 beta 1 because it will feature bugs. There is a reason why it's only available for developers so they can point out some bugs and things like that uh, and also be able to test it out before the final release. So do do this at your own risk, uh, like I said. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. As always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. But also, if you're not following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, or Instagram, all my links will be down below. Uh, that is where I post the latest news and things. So if you want to keep up to date, uh, go ahead and follow me on those. I'm more active on Twitter, so if you want uh, to get a hold of me some for some reason, if you want to tweet me or something, uh, you can follow me on Twitter. That is where I'm most active. And uh, also, if you're not yet subscribed and you feel like being awesome, go ahead and subscribe to the channel uh, for future videos like this because there's a lot of cool new features announced for iOS 8. So I'll be covering those. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on those videos. Anyways, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Thanks a lot for watching, and I will catch you all on the next video. All right? Push it down.